Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's King Brook coming at you again with another video, and today we're talking about something that's driving the world absolutely crazy. There's an epidemic, man. Today we're talking about the coronavirus, COVID-19, where did it come from, what is it, how do you get it, the symptoms, what to do if you think somebody got it, the whole nine. So make sure y'all watch this whole video so y'all not out here spreading these half-truths and kind of if ands maybes, or whatnot. Let's get into it. This what I'm finna say, y'all. Whoever ain't with this, don't even ask me. Right. All right, so first things first, why is it called the coronavirus? Listen, it did not come from the beer brand, Corona. Whoever told that to you, you need to smack them. If you're thinking that, you're stupid. Corona actually means crown. The scientists gave the virus this name because it actually looks like there are many crowns sitting on top of the virus when you look at it under a microscope. So crown, Corona, coronavirus. See where I'm going with this? Pay attention. The coronavirus is not something that's new. The coronavirus has been over mankind for millions of years causing everything from the common cold to very very high impact respiratory infections the important part is to understand that the coronavirus is a family of viruses and different members of this family like with different species there are some members of this family that like to with humans some that like to with animals so the question that you should be asking right now is why is everybody so hype about it right now the reason why everybody is hype about this coronavirus is because this kind is normally seen in animals okay it's never before been seen in a human and if we want to specifically talk about this type of coronavirus we're talking about COVID-19. I know you guys seen the name, so that's where the name comes from. So the coronavirus is the family of viruses. COVID-19 is this specific virus that we've only seen in animals. Right about now is where we transition from cold hard facts to a little bit of opinion, a little bit of rumor, a little bit of, you know, most likely right theories, all right? All right, so COVID-19 is rumored to come from an animal in China named the pangolin. No, not a dog, not a cat, but a pangolin. Not a penguin, my Pangolin. Now, the pangolin is an ugly ass anteater that's banned in China. That means it is illegal to buy, sell, or consume this thing. However, people in the Eastern Hemisphere are smuggling these things in and across the border because these are basically like high-end delicacies, all right? When people eat the meat, it's seen as like a status symbol, I guess. I guess something like you eat super shrimp lobster. And the scales are sometimes used for like medicine and some type of sauce, but you know, my personal opinion is that they use it to flex. So yeah, I got pangolin money. Pangolin money. Y'all ain't got pangolin money. Comment pangolin money down below. Hide the money, y'all. There's poor people around. <laughs> With your broke ass. Now, how do you get the coronavirus? This is what makes this virus so interesting to doctors and scientists all over the globe. This is because they don't know whether it's a droplet based or an airborne based pathogen. Meaning that if you're sick, you sneeze, touch the doorknob, and then I come up behind you, touch the doorknob, then touch my eyes, ears, or my mouth, then I'm gonna get sick. That's the common cold, that's a droplet type. However, they don't know whether it's that or the airborne type where it's like, if I cough and you're four and a half feet away from me, you got that shit. Now, there are two main things that you can do to prevent yourself from catching this coronavirus. The first thing is gonna be washing your hands in warm water with soap for about 10 to 15 seconds at least, all right? Don't go under there and put your little fingertips under the water thinking that's gonna help. That's not gonna help. That virus is gonna get in your ass. Number two, social distancing. That means next time you see your homeboy, ain't no dap up, ain't no high five, ain't no dap, ain't none of this, ain't no none of this handshake, none of that, none of that. You can't even get an elbow because that's too close. They said don't do the elbow because the elbow dab is actually closer than the fist bump dab. And my elbows are black. Oh my god. If you go into a job interview, you do not shake his hand. Look him in the eye and say, What's poppin'? My name's John. Don't give that man no high five and no handshake. No handshake season in effect. Now the symptoms. The symptoms can include anything from coughing, fever, illness, and shortness of breath in the most serious, serious situation. But just because you don't show symptoms don't mean that you don't have it, alright? It's that you can stay up to a 14 day period without knowing that you have it. And I know this is a little bit different from my usual content, but I figured that somebody in this community has got to educate because you're probably not gonna listen to the boring lady from the science lab Make sure you like and share this video. And oh yeah, stop buying all the damn masks. Cause now I gotta use a bandana. The nurses at the hospital can't even use a mask cause y'all punk ass is buying it all up. Stay safe out here.